Hey guys, it's Savvy That Simmer here, and I wanted to do a little makeover for our Gold Digger Challenge. We have Charlotte um, Combs originally, and then she married Bella Goth, and she divorced her, and then she ended up marrying um, Jaques or Jakes. So I'm not really sure how to say his, his name completely, but um, I'm calling him Jakes at this point. Um, let me know in the comments if you know how to pronounce his name correctly. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be European, so yeah, if you know, please let me know. Um, but his last name is Villarreal, um, so I did end up changing that for her and updating it for her. Also, too, at the end of the um, episode, in episode two of the Gold Digger Challenge that we're doing, I noticed that I forgot to take Bella's money and give it to Charlotte when she divorced her. So basically, they had like a shotgun wedding. It's part of the part of a mod, which is um, relationship. A woohoo wellness mod and it's pretty cool because you can actually marry a sim if they agree to it if you're pregnant with their child and you both aren't married um so that's what they did so i chose to do that but i realized it after i recorded after i edited it. i was like oh wait crap i forgot to because typically when you move in with someone um with the game you can actually just you know move and shift them over and then you put the funds in that you want so that's normally how you would take all of their money so um, so I technically did take Bella Goss money, but I still need to correct that in her new bank account, so I will do that and make sure to adjust that. So anyways, I have Charlotte here, and like I said, I'm doing a little mini maternity makeover for her. So she is pregnant with her second pregnancy. She already has twins from her first marriage with Bella. They had a sperm donor. And um, she has now gotten pregnant with Jaquise or Jakes. I'm going to probably go back and forth with that name. Um, anyway, so she is now Mrs. Villa Rill and she is pregnant with her second pregnancy. And um, yeah, so he has a lot of money. He lives on like this really beautiful private island in uh, Windenburg and um, he has a crap ton of money and he has three children. Um, so she has three new ch she has three new stepchildren and her twins so it's a pretty full house um he's also basically a sugar daddy because he's an older man um so i thought that was pretty fitting um so he likes his women to be you know classy and kind of preppy so i went with this really cute um everyday outfit which i thought that was like a very classic um outfit you know especially with the 90s are trending right now and also um also early 2000s are also trending too so i thought that was kind of a cute you know plaid um outfit so um, yeah, and you know, I just wanted to you know spruce up her her um, outfits and make them all pink as much as I could because she loves the color pink. She's like a typical you know um, Barbie girl, materialistic girl. She loves even though I love pink, I love pink so much. But in my mind, her you know she's just like hot girl. You know she loves pink. She likes to work out. She likes to do yoga. She likes materialistic things. She loves money. You know. So, and she likes, you know, going to the spa, getting her nails done. And so, anyways, with the challenge, um, you know, they, they earn money by only marrying rich sims and scavenging. So, I thought that it would be cool to give her a makeover each um, marriage that she accomplished. Uh, however, I don't want to go too, too far each makeover. I just kind of want to give her, like, you know, something that's more suitable for who she marries in addition you know to make her look a little bit more rich or wealthy each marriage that she has so with that being said i do want to keep it within you know who she marries but also i don't want to make her look too glam too fast so we're just kind of gonna go each step but i did want to give her a maternity makeover because you know she's super pregnant and you know it's a really cute outfit so what we can do or cute makeover and what we can do is um we can just tweak it you know after she's given birth and we can you know just tweak maybe a couple of her outfits if we want to but i do like what i end up choosing and i hope you guys like it too but yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the um the challenge so far i have really had a good time with it it's been a lot of fun and i hope you guys um have enjoyed it as well and have any of you guys decided to start the gold digger challenge let me know if you have um what other challenges have you guys decided to do? I also thought that maybe it might be fun to try out one of the new scenarios. Um, I know they have like a stuck in the shadow one. Um, and then they also have like the parenting scenario. So I thought that might also be fun to check out. Definitely let me know um, if you guys would like to see that. 
Um, I am around um, a little over 90 subscribers right now, so we're almost to 100, and that is my goal to get to 100 subscribers by the end of October. So definitely um, subscribe if you enjoy my content and if you want to see more. It really helps my channel. You know, I'm really trying to get to that point um, and just trying to like have strong goals for the channel. I love The Sims, I always have, but at the same time, you know, this takes a lot of time. I don't think people realize how much goes into videos, video editing, setting up stuff, and like making good content for you guys. So like I said, please like and comment and subscribe. I appreciate you and I love every single one of you, every single 93 subscribed people that are subscribed to the channel. I appreciate you and thank you so much for all the love and all the sweet comments. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and put some music on for you guys to finish the rest of the um, video. Hope you guys all have a great day. Bye!